Welcome back to Sports Tonight Live. We've covered Tottenham, we've covered Chelsea, and some would say now we're about to, to cover the best team in London, QPR. <laughs> some would say. Some, would say. Some, some people like Pete might yeah. say that we're covering. Uh, I, I, I certainly would say it. Jeffro would certainly yeah. say it. You boys, Arsenal and Tottenham, we'll, co we'll, we'll come to Arsenal a bit later on. We, we are delighted to say we've got ex-QPR um, winger Lee Cook on the phone. Good evening, Lee. Evening, how are you? I'm fine, thanks very much. Uh, thanks very much for joining us as well. Obviously, uh, we'll talk about your buy um, goals a little bit later on, but in terms of QPR and the season ahead, how do you feel the signings have gone during the summer, Lee? Well, I don't know why you're all laughing, because uh, we will be the best club sooner rather than later, I yeah. imagine. With, <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, with so I'd like the old jokes to stop there. Yeah. But um, <laughs> as far as this season goes, signing-wise... Um, I don't know really I'm not too uh, I wouldn't say happy but I mean the problem last year I think we needed attacking players and strikers and and it, all it seems to be at the minute is we signed defenders so um, it's, it's a mixture for me I'm still I'm still waiting for a couple more to come in that's going to um, get the fire in my belly going so it's um, at the minute I'm not I'm not too uh, upbeat about it all. Do, do you think, Lee, that it's typical of Redknapp in, in as much that on transfer deadline day he's going to be unwinding that front, uh, front window and saying there's no deals to be done and we'll we get two or three on deadline day? They'll talk about Deeney and, and other players. Do, I mean, yeah. do you think that'll happen? It, I expect it to. Um, I think a lot obviously depends on what Lloyd Remy's going to do. Um, if we lose him, then I'm sure he's going to be um, trying very hard to bring someone in to replace him. Because uh, if we can get him playing for us, I think he's going to be a big player. If he was manager, sorry to interrupt you, Lee, but if he was manager yeah. QPR, would you keep? Like, I mean, would you do everything to keep him, knowing he's going to score you 15 or 18 goals a season? Oh, without a doubt, yeah, I'd be doing everything possible to keep him. I know he's on a decent contract anyway, um, but I think you know, last season, uh, sorry, the season before when they got relegated, when he was there. We're hoping that it's going to be a completely different situation. He come into the club, they were down the bottom. Um, and we just got to hope that, you know, he can convince him that it's not going to be like that this time and that he enjoys football better than he did last time. Because, let's be honest, the season he come in, it was, you know, it was bad. Every week we was losing games, the confidence was low and it was a tough season. So, I'm hoping he can keep him. Um, I don't think we'd be able to keep hold of him. I think he's going to go before the deadline day and... Obviously, Harry's needs to bring someone else in because if he doesn't, I don't see where the goals are going to come from. And do you think also we've learnt from our mistake first time round as much as probably a bit dis we won't name players, but there was a bit of disunity around. He's obviously trying to get the camaraderie there. And in terms of bringing Glenn Hoddle, how do you see that panning out, Lee? Yeah, I mean, obviously Glenn's a big name in football, um, so the players are going to know who he is. They're going to want to work for him. Um, so in term in in, then, in that sense, it's. Um, could be a true signing, so we have to wait and see on that, mate. I think it's only part time at the minute. He's coming in two days a week, I believe. Um, but you know what Harry thinks is that he needed someone like Glenn to come in. Um, I know Wally Downs was there last year. Um, obviously, Glenn's come in probably to replace him, um, and we have to see on that front. But you know, in, in terms of how we're going to do, he, he needs to make a couple more signings, and I think he knows that as well. And, and and also last season, I think it's fair to say a lot of the games were quite drab, all important, not yeah. conceding goals. Do you think that's, um, I mean, if you were looking at a draw for Saturday, you'd say it's going to be nil-nil, but do yeah. you think that Harry's going to play that role uh, throughout the season? Well, that's what I'm concerned about, because, uh, you know, last season, we didn't really play that well in every week. We was nicking a lot of games 1-0, even in the playoff final. We got played off the park and nicked it 1-0. And I thought, you know, during the summer, I thought they'd really try and bring maybe five or six top, top players attacking-wise coming in because defensively last year we weren't too bad. We kept a lot of clean sheets and it didn't look like that was going to be priority. And obviously he's going to sign Rio, which you can't complain. He's going to be a good player for us and Corker as well. But it's still that attacking sense where I think we need something more. I mean, much has come in and he's, he's a decent player, but we need some more. We need some more firepower about Shadow of Doubt. OK, we've got another QPR fan on, on the seat here. Jeff, I'd like to ask you a quick question. Hey, Jeff here, I've been going a few Hi, years. How you doing? Um, yeah, good, thanks. Good stuff. Talking about attacking players, um, throughout our history, we've always had exciting wingers. Put the balls in the box. Uh, yeah. Andy Sinton and Travis Sinclair, even yourself. Uh, the amount of assists you did in, in, in the season before you went to Fulham. What's your thoughts on QPR, maybe, if they're going to get a winger, the likes of Andras Townsend, um, to, to assist Charlie Austin and that? Yeah, I mean, people like Charlie need someone like a winger, you know, creating them the goals because they're, they're the type of, um, you know, six-yard 
strikers yeah. I'd say you know in the box like close for Germany didn't score yeah. one go outside the six yard box Austin's pretty much the same he's not a player that enlights you with flair and skill outside the box and yeah. knocks it in from 20 metres but you know if, if you're going to play them kind of strikers you need the, the, the deliveries coming in so um, the way he plays I mean Hoylet's still floating about and uh, yeah. Sean Mike Phillips but you know as I've said before you need you need attacking players and that's what we're short of um, a winger certainly should be on the cards anyway Yeah, and I guess the 30, $30 million dollar question is will QPR start out next season do you think? I think we will yeah I think we will um, if he was to say we don't make any more signings will we stay up I'd probably say no but I think he's going to do some shrewd deals, as we said, on deadline day, maybe, if not before. Um, and I think we'll do more than stay up. Yeah, I think we'll be, um, I think we'll comfortably stay up. And did, did it surprise you that, I mean, obviously it was mentioned that Bobby Zamora would not stay after the after the playoff and he scores that mm. clinical finish. There is a role for Zamora to make after his bad injury. And, uh, he did, towards the end of last season, show what his, show his worth. Yeah, I mean, the truck and his confidence. And once he uh, got at Middlesbrough, he was a little tap in from a yard out. He was a different player. Um, so he's coming into pretty season confident. And I think it could be useful for us. I don't think he's going to start because I think someone else would be signing and maybe Remy will play. And obviously Austin as well. Um, so, But he can be used. He, he can come off the bench. You know, he's getting on a little bit now, but he's still got something to offer. Um, I mean, the goal in the final showed show what he can do and like I've said before strikers need confidence and if they've got confidence they can score you know he scored at every level so he's good to have in the camp I think and, and finally someone who's still got it a little bit is yourself Lee. We, we saw a couple of goals for Barnet I mean uh, you know how are you feeling in yourself and <laughs> yeah, you're going to go on for a few more years yourself Lee yeah I'm hoping to you know with the injuries and stuff I had in the past it's been uh, difficult but I've fully rehabbed about two years ago and uh, I've managed to have a full season at Lake Norwin where I played 46 games um, and I'm hoping I can do the same this year. It's, I mean, enjoying it down there. It's a local club, you know. I didn't want to go start travelling up north and mucking about with it all. It might not have rang me, wanted me to go down there. So I was happy to sign the contract, and hopefully we can get up and win the league. You know, we started off great. Um, and, I, and I guess it's all about enjoying your football as well, Lee, isn't it? You know, you, you get to a point, is, I guess, mate. where you just want to go out that's and enjoy your, enjoy your day kind of thing, as well as playing at a yeah. good level. You've hit the nail on the head, mate. That's exactly what it is. And um, I'm, I'm enjoying my football down there. They're a great set of lads, great management staff. And uh, we're going to have a right go when you've got a team, when you've got a bunch of boys that are all, you know, they're pulling in the right direction because they all are down there. They're, everyone's talking about what we can achieve this year. And there's a, there's a small bunch of players. We've only got about 18, 19 pros. Um, so when you get a small squad like that, you know, everyone kind of sticks together. And um, I'm hoping we can win the league this year. We're going to have a right go at it. There's other teams in, the, in that division that are favourites ahead of us. But he's signed Charlie McDonald signed down there, John O'Kin, they they've got league experience in the team. And we've got a couple of good young players, so we're gonna have a go. Okay. Hopefully we'll chat to you throughout the season, Lee. We'll be plenty to speak about about QPR and about Barney. But thanks very much for, for joining us this no, evening. Thanks for having me on. Cheers. Okay, Thank all you. the best. Right. Hang on a second. Everyone wants to mess about up north, Lee. Everyone it, I think he's gone. I, I, he knows. <laughs> Lee, everyone wants to nest about with clubs up north. I just couldn't let that slide. Right, Thank okay. Have we, got any, have we got It's still Mourinho tweets, isn't it? No, no, no. Actually, okay. they have been listening, and I've got to say, <laughs> ready, Kenny? That actually, who finishes higher, Chelsea or Arsenal? People are saying Arsenal, actually, so far. There's an I'm overwhelming Arsenal. Yeah, I'm really uh, we have been asking um, QPR versus West Ham. QPR hope West Ham go down. That's from Mark O'Neill. Yep. Really? Is that what we're feeling right now? Yeah. We're, we're definitely feeling that. It's, yeah. it's definitely a Spurs fan. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of QPR, I won't come to you first. How, 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 do you, how, do you, how does the Arsenal and Tottenham fan feel about QPR? Do you, do you look down on QPR? I don't look down on QPR. I think they're a great club. Uh, well, that's enough. I think with QPR, it's it wants to be back next week. Yeah, that's that's no, I think with Queen's Park Rangers, it's that I do worry, and I think like Cookie came up with a lot of points where the goals are come from, going to come from. If because if you get rid of Remy, I don't I don't see how QPR are going to create chances for Austin because like if you look at Austin, he's a, like a good goal poach. So does his work inside the box, outside the box. I don't see I don't see Austin going by you know going past. A you know what? We're going to treat that corner. question now live. Do Q QPR need Remy? To stay up because right. you don't think they. You, you, I, don't, I can't see him staying up with that. Him. No, right, right. It's goals. I just don't see uh, Austin and Samora are going to get 15 goals this next. So the season. question is, 
do keep your have to keep Remy to stay up, right? I think so. Oh yeah, more Remy. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Thank not you, not, Peter. Not, not your Thank you very much. <laughs> but Marvelous. in terms, of, so you don't look down. You think we're a great club, which is fantastic. You worry about us, Jeff. Cook's made the point there. Um, that he's not too over the moon about the signings, but we think I think there's going to be a lot well, of deals done in the final. Yeah, week. look, we know how Harry works. It is almost like Sky Sports and Jim Watt and that are waiting. It's the Harry hour, which is about half past eleven <laughs> at night in his Range Rover out the window. That's, you, that's of the wingy. You that's just, wingy. Yeah, <laughs> you just know that's going to happen. <laughs> 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 He's outside of skipping our training ground yeah. and he can't go in and he's in his range phone yeah. waiting by the phone and saying, That was on the more used to be. Yeah, yeah. What do Rock, can I go in yet? Can I yeah. go in? <laughs> While they take the mickey, what, 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 I mean, I mean obviously, Ken's made the point about Remy, what do we need? Listen, we do need a good do Cookie need. made some good points. Kenny, surprisingly, that he probably doesn't know much about QPR at the moment, has made a very good point. We need goals. Last year we struggled for goals. Mm. For me, keep Remy, we stay up at a canter. We finish mid table with the players we've got. If we don't. So keep what, Remy, Lee's very much saying he's going to go. Yeah, yeah. And I think he will. Listen, so if, Remy, if Remy goes, what we need to do, we need to have a decision from Remy literally within the next week, knowing that if he is going to go, we actively try and sell him. But, and we, have a replacement but, but, lined but, up. but the point I'm trying to make is, are we, are we, why should we give it to the player? He's contracted the QPR. Why don't we just keep him there? Because he wants to go. You, you can do that, keep Pete, players. but you know how football works. Yeah. Contract really isn't worth papers written on these days. If he wants to go and we need to improve our team with a player that wants to play for us, that can score goals, we've got to get rid of him. But who would it be? What, what I would say then is that the MLS season is finishing soon. Jermaine Defoe's out it, there. And Harry there's a lot of rumours about it. Can you, can, can you see Defoe <laughs> going to QPR? Yeah, I can see Harry in London, though. Nah. To yeah. keep London's different. To keep, yeah. to, keep, yeah. to keep his fitness on a loan deal. Six months. That's, that's Harry, that's that's Harry Redknapp yeah. all yeah. over. Yeah. But it Harry Redknapp. It's the same situation. He did it with Robbie Keane, didn't he? Yeah, he did it with Robbie Keane. does his best work in the box. He's not... Listen, Jermaine Defoe's a goal scorer, and we need goals. He's a goal scorer. And the point is, we need proven goal scorers at this level. It's OK saying Charlie Austin had a good season, and when he was out, we struggled, which is true. Championship player. It, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah. Like, 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 all right, you're right. Because Lambert, look at Lambert. Exactly. I, I do. I got out in the first yeah, season, and I yeah. think it's very on the same lines yeah, as those players. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, right. but, but if you're one of the big boys, if you're if you're Tottenham or you're Arsenal or you're Chelsea or you're Man United, and look at the team sheet, you think, well, keep your front line is Charlie Austin. You're not going to be worried. No, I, I wouldn't no, be worried. Right. If you had Jermaine Defoe up front, you'd be thinking, oh, well, I'm going to say, I wouldn't be worried. Jermaine Defoe. I don't rate Jermaine Defoe. Okay, but that's Jermaine Defoe. Jermaine, Jermaine Defoe's got he has, a good football play. He has, Jermaine Defoe he's not got a is play. one of the most natural finishers that's yes, still he around. He, 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 was he was on the bench, bench at Tottenham. He was on the bench at Tottenham because we only played we one spoke up about, um, We played one spoke about Arsenal awesome later on. What we say with Jermaine Defoe, if he did go to QPR, he would score goals. He thrives in the box, but he, he is underrated. But he is underrated outside the box because when he did play Tottenham in the Europa League, when he was in the Europa League playing with us, he scored every he week. Was, yeah, and he was holding up yeah. the ball. Who are Jermaine you Defoe, though? Jermaine, Who but are he's you even playing? done it. He's done it in the league. Jermaine Defoe can hold up the ball better than most. I would even also like to Jermaine say as well. Jermaine Defoe can't play his back. He can 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 play his back. He's always saying we are a great team. He now wants to Defoe to get a keeper and make him even better. Not just that. I would even say Darren Ben. Darren Ben. Before we move on, the next part we're going to talk about um, uh, Crystal Palace for a bit. But hold on a minute. Defensively, he's brought in Rio Foden and Billy Cool Cat. I'm, so, I'm uh, over the moon, and I said earlier to the guys, um, and I think they agreed, which is amazing. <laughs> in Cooker and Ferdinand, we've got two of the top four English centre halves in the country. Because, and I'll show it's not a bias view because the other two are Terry and Cahill. We play for Chelsea. Yeah, right. I think Ferdinand should have been in the World Cup squad. I think Cooker should have been in the World Cup squad. I think both of them are better than Phil Jagielka. Yeah. Um, and I think Terry and Cahill were the other. To, so I think we've got two of the best English centre halves at our club, and what they've got, they'll complement each other well. Because Ferdinand's going to play a sweeper role, we know that. Mm -hmm. You're going to go three five two, isn't he? Ferdinand's a class player, and you've got Glenn Hoddle, who was a class player. You know, going to teach him that. You've then got Kulka, who's like your, you're almost your battering round defender. He'll win the headers. He'll be the bully. Then you've got Anua who is mega quick, can do the 100 metres in 11 seconds. <laughs> he will mop up anything. So we've got a nice blend at the back. Defensively, we're fine. Um, as long as Trey Ori stays fit, he's a perfect left wing back. Um, and Isla, the boy we signed from Chile, um, the World Cup from Juventus, he's a fantastic wing back. Okay. Danny Simpson deserves to play, but, okay. but Isla's there. In, in two words, QBR go down no way? No, no, I don't see them going down. Keep Remy, stay up. 
Keep Remy, stay up. Hopefully we'll get some feedback yeah. on that. Stay up have we got any feedback on that? We do, actually. Not the Remy one. We okay. do have we're in favour of West Ham completely. Right. So oh, West Ham finished above QPR. <laughs> I, don't, I don't quite understand that one. No. We are going to be speaking about West Ham, Crystal Palace, and also uh, about Arsenal as well. We've had the Tottenham. Well, we had a, a whole debate about Arsenal yesterday. So if you want to tweet in and get involved um, on the Arsenal subject, Palace, or the subject that we've spoken about as well, about Mourinho not winning the trophy for the last two years. I had to put that in just before the break, didn't I? <laughs> but anyway, we're going to be speaking about Palace after this short one. All it seems to be at the minute is we sign defenders, so... Um, it's, it's a mixture for me. I'm still I'm still waiting for a couple more to come in. That's gonna um, get the fire in my belly going. So it's um, at the minute I'm not I'm not too uh, upbeat about it all. Do you, Do you think Lee that it's typical Harry Redknapp in, in as much that on transfer deadline day he's going to be unwinding that front a uh, front window and saying there's no deals to be done and we we'll, we we'll get two or three. Welcome back to Sports Tonight Live. We've covered Tottenham, we've covered Chelsea, and some would say now we're about to cover the best team in London, QPR. <laughs> some, would say. some would say. Some, some people like Pete might yeah. say that we're covering. Uh, I, I, I certainly would say it. Jeffro would certainly yeah. say it. You boys, Arsenal and Tottenham, we'll, co we'll, we'll come to Arsenal a bit later on. We, we are delighted to say we've got ex-QPR um, winger Lee Cook on the phone. Good evening, Lee. Evening, how are you? I'm fine, thanks very much. Uh, thanks very much for joining us as well. Obviously, uh, we'll talk about your buy um, goals a little bit later on, but in terms of the QPR and the season ahead, how do you feel the signings have gone during the summer, Lee? Well, I don't know why you're all laughing, because uh, we will be the best club sooner rather than later, I yeah. imagine. With, <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, owner, so I'd like the old jokes to stop there. Yeah. But um, <laughs> as far as this season goes, signing-wise... Um, I don't know really I'm not too uh, I wouldn't say happy but I mean the problem last year I think we needed attacking players and strikers and, and it, on deadline day they'll talk about Deeney and, and other players do, I mean yeah. do you think that'll happen? It, I expect it to um, I think a lot obviously depends on what like, Remy's going to do um, if we lose him then I'm sure he's going to be um, trying very hard to bring someone in to replace him because uh, if we can get him playing for us I think he's going to be a big player if he was manager, sorry to interrupt you, Lee, but if he was manager yeah. of QPR, would you 